It is May 2024 as I record this, and the Nintendo 3DS is a unfortunate dead system. The store has been removed, and online services have come to an end. And with the system continuing to age, we are more likely to see dying systems as the years progress. So it is important now more than ever to get all of your Nintendo 3DS games and digital titles backed up so you can continue to enjoy them on real hardware and emulation as time moves on and your original system might bite the dust. So in this video we're going to cover how to back up physical game cards of Nintendo 3DS and Nintendo DS games, as well as backing up Nintendo DSi and 3DS titles that are installed on your system. So let's go ahead and dive in. First, for our requirements, the first thing you're going to need is a selection of 3DS games to dump, or if you're interested in using this to back up DS games, that is also an option. You're going to need a modded 3DS system. So this could be old 3DS, new 3DS, 2DS, new 2DS XL, doesn't matter, it just has to be modded. And I do, again, have a video on the channel on how to mod any model of the 3DS using the Easy Flash Parallel. It's the NTR boot method, so it works with any DS Flash cart compatible with NTR boot, so you can use that as you will. Otherwise, I recommend looking up the 3DS Hacks Guide and following along with that for your system model and system menu. Links to these will be in the description below for anyone interested. You will also need an SD card for your 3DS system, so I'm using this 32 gig one, it's got a lot of free space left in it. And the biggest 3DS games I believe are around 4 gigs, I can't quite remember off the top of my head. Then you're also going to need an SD card reader to make things go a lot quicker than FTP from your homebrew enabled 3DS. But we're going to make sure that we have the most up to date version of God Mode 9 before we continue on, so just get your SD card hooked up to your computer. Alright, so here we have my 3DS's SD card. It already has the latest version of God Mode 9 installed because I barely hacked this a couple weeks ago, and God Mode 9 hasn't been updated since 2022 as of recording this video. So if you've hacked your 3DS since March 2022, chances are you do not need to do this update, but I want to show it for thoroughness sake. So go ahead and head to the God Mode 9 GitHub page, link in the description below, and grab the latest version. Once downloaded, get it extracted. Open up the God Mode 9 folder, and inside you'll see a GM9 folder and a God Mode9.firm file. These are what we need. So again, open up your 3DS's SD card. And inside the Luma folder, under payloads, copy in the God Mode9.firm file. And again, I already had it, but whatever, it's fine. Now back out to the root of your SD card and copy in the GM9 folder. And once you have both of those in place, you are now on the latest version of God Mode 9. Again, you only need to do this if you hacked your 3DS before March 2022 and know you are on an outdated version. And because I never know when a new version will come out, always make sure that you just get the latest release because there might be a new version that comes out a week from now, a year from now, two years from now, who knows. But just make sure you grab the one that says latest so you're on the most updated version. But once you have everything in place, you can just go ahead and disconnect the SD card from your computer, and we'll put it back in our 3DS and get started. All right, so back over here with our 3DS, gonna get the SD card inserted. There we go. And you can put the backpack on or not, your choice. Doesn't really matter if you want quicker access to the SD card, recommend just leaving it unconnected. But then we're gonna go ahead and pop in a game we want to back up. So we're gonna start with uh, Alpha Sapphire here, because why not? So just going to put that in the card slot. But anyway, go ahead and hold down start and turn on your 3DS system. And that brings you into God Mode 9. Once God Mode 9 has booted up, you'll see a root menu here with a bunch of different directories. So if you head down to C for game cart, you'll see your 3DS game cart ID here and the size over on the right. So if we press A on this game cart, and after selecting the game card, you'll see a number of different options. So the one that we're interested in today is either the .3DS, which is the full dump of the game, or you can head down to .trim.3DS for a smaller version of the game that cuts out some extra padding. So we're going to choose .trim.3DS for this example. Press A, it'll show you the game, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. And down on the bottom screen, Head down to copy to zero, GM9 out, and press A. And it will begin backing up your 3DS game in the game card slot. This process will take a minute depending on the size of the game, so just be patient with it as it does its thing. And once the dump is finished, you'll have a screen that says press A to continue. I accidentally pressed it, picking up my 3DS after starting the recording, so I'm sorry. 
But anyway, there are a couple more options here you might be interested in for dumping your 3DS games, such as installing them directly to the system or saving them as a CIA file so you could install them on your system later if you have a small SD card and are swapping out games. So on this same menu, we're going to go ahead and select the trim.3ds file again. And this time we're going to select NCSD image options. Now from here, you'll see two options. There's build CIA from file, so this will dump it to your SD card in a CIA format for you to install later. Or you could directly install it to the system as is. We'll go ahead and do both for thoroughness sake here. So install game image file. Writing to SysNand, level 1 is locked. Unlock it now. Press A for yes and then input the key combo that it gives you and it will begin installing that as a game image on your 3DS. So again, just wait for it to do its thing. And again, when the process is completed, you'll be greeted with a press A to continue screen. So there we go. And then you'll be asked if you want to relock the right permission. So just press A for yes and done. But now we'll go ahead and repeat that process one more time and see SD image options and we'll build a CIA from the file. And again, just gotta wait for it to do its thing. And there we go, all finished, so press A to continue. Now one last thing we need to do for our .3DS dumps is to decrypt them if you want to use them in something like Citra. So going into our SD card on the root of God Mode 9 here, you can head into your GM9 folder, out folder. I got a little ahead of myself and copied these over to my computer without doing this step, so I renamed them Pokemon Sapphire already. But anyway, Selecting your .3DS file, it'll give you your game and title name here, as well as a number of new options, and under NCSD image options, you'll see a decrypt file option, and that is the one we want to use, so we'll go ahead and decrypt it, and again, just wait for it to do its thing, and once the decryption process is done, just press A to continue, and with that, you have fully backed up your 3DS games in CIA or 3DS format, and they can be used to install on real systems or use in emulation. So just go ahead and power off the system from here by holding down the power button until this menu comes off, tell it to power off. And then take out the SD card, move it to your computer so you can back up these games. So now back over on your computing device, to get to your backed up 3DS games, head into the GM9 folder, and in the out folder, you will find your backed up 3DS titles. So they are going to be named after their game ID, so you will want to rename these. So I only did Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. And I did that both in th .3DS and CIA format just for completion's sake. But now you can just copy those over to your computer to use as you see fit. And if you reboot your 3DS normally with your SD card in, you can be greeted by the new software on the home screen of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire that we installed, so very cool. But with our 3DS game back up on our computer, we can now, again, use these either on our 3DS later down the road as a nice backup file or an emulation. So, if you load up a version of Citra, mine's really old, unfortunately, but regardless, it'll still serve the purpose here. But we can still show that you can load up our 3DS game inside of Citra. And there we go. There is Pokemon Alpha Sapphire running in Citra. But it is also worth noting that you can install CIA files into Citra as well with the install CIA option. And then can go to my desktop, grab the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire CIA. And there we go, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire is now installed and can run it directly as so. But there we go. Just one thing you could do with those backed up 3DS game files. But now let's move on to Nintendo DS game dumping. Going to go ahead and get the SD card inserted into the 3DS once again. And this time we're going to back up Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow for DS. So I'm just going to get that inserted into the game card slot. So once again, hold down start and power on your 3DS system to be booted into God Mode 9. And we'll once again be going down to the game cart option here. And for Nintendo DS games, we want to do just full backups. We don't want to do the trim because trim DS games can have issues, especially with multiplayer from my experience. So we're just going to go ahead and select the .nds file here and press A on it. Castlevania Donosaro and then down at the bottom. 
we're going to copy it to GM9 out. This will be faster than 3DS games because the biggest Nintendo DS game is only about 512 megabytes if memory serves. And once the copying is completed, just press A to continue. And with that backup completed, just go ahead and power off the 3DS by pressing the power button. And then press A on power off system. And now go ahead and pop that SD card out of your 3DS system, move it back over to your computer. With that SD card inserted into a computer, once again head into the GM9 folder, out folder, and you can find your Nintendo DS game dump. And then again, just remember to rename your file to something that you can recognize it with. And then you can test your backup in an emulator if desired. So I'm just going to load up RetroArch real quick. Uh, anyway, there we go. I need to fix some settings on this. I messed it up by doing some experimentation, so it's really unhappy with me if you can't tell. But anyway, we've confirmed that at least that our backup does work. It's just that I jacked up my emulator. Oh, uh, good stuff. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Anyway, moving on to our next dumping process. All right, now to show you how to back up your digital downloads and DSiWare on a 3DS. So go ahead and get your SD card inserted back into the system. Hold down start and power it on to get us back into God Mode 9. Now from here, press the home button on your 3DS. Scroll down to Title Manager. And there's two options, A, SD card, so that's going to be like your downloadable games. And then you have one for NAND and TWL, so this is for your DSiWare and system titles. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this one to back up a copy of Legend of Zelda Four Swords. So I'm just going to press A on this one. And here we go. So it made a list of all of the things that are installed into the system NAND here. So just scroll through this and download the things that you want to back up. And there it is. So Zelda Four Swords Anniversary Edition. So that's the one I want to back up. So just going to press A on this. Press A on Manage Title. And then select Build CIA Standard. And it will dump it to your SD card. And with the dump complete, just press A to continue. But now, once again, if we want to mount some other installed 3DS games, press the home button on your system. Title Manager. No, not B. Press A. This time, I'm going to choose SD card. And it will once again show all of the things that are installed. So, I'm going to back up all of my digital titles here, so that way I can always have them ready to be installed on other systems in case mine ever dies. So again, build CIA standard, and wait for it to do its thing. And when finished, press A to continue and move through your titles as you see fit. So you can also see down here the Pokemon Alpha Sapphire that we installed previously. But this also lets you download updates as well as DLC, I believe. So for Fire Emblem Awakening, I believe this is all the DLC that we've bought for this title. So I'm going to get that backed up as well. And again, press A when finished. And you can do this with any of the digital titles that you have on the system to back up to use on emulation or just to have a backup of in case your system dies and you want to install it on a different system. But again, once you've backed up everything that you want to, just go ahead and hold the power button for a bit power off your system, take that SD card out of your 3DS, move it back over to your computer. Alright, so back over on your computer, head into your GM9 folder of your 3DS's SD card, the out folder, and you will find all of the CIAs that you backed up from DS Highware to 3DS games and downloads. And you can just go ahead and copy them over to your computer for safekeeping. And if you're interested in using the non-DSi title, in your 3DS emulation, it's the same as before. You can load up Citra, version of Citra, go to Install CIA, navigate to where you have these files stored, and begin installing them. So, for example, 3D Classic Kirby. Let's go ahead and install Ironfall Invasion. And there we go, got all my DLC for Fire Emblem Awakening installed on here as well. But, again, you can double-check all these working by just launching them from that point. 
Anyway, now let's try out Kirby here. Anyway, gonna load up Fire Emblem Awakening here real quick. Not sure if there's a way to check for the DLC in the main menu. It's been a long time since I touched this game. Doesn't appear to be. But regardless, you now have a backup of your digital titles, updates, and DLC, along with your game cart games, so in case anything ever happens to your 3DS, you are set. But thank you so much for watching today's video, I hope you have found it informative and it helps you back up your Nintendo 3DS games and digital library for future use as the system gets older and has already seen its online services and storefront removed. Here at the end, just the usual favors to ask. If you haven't done so already, thumbs up, thumbs down button, depending on how much you like today's tutorial, as well as that sub button notification bell so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Loads always coming your way, and I'd love to have each and every one of you along for the ride. For anyone interested in further helping support the channel to bring more content just like this to all of you, be sure to check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Every little bit helps keep this place going and bringing all of this content directly to you. Big shout out to all of our current backers. Thank you so much again for believing in what we do here and helping us keep it going. But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we will see you back next video.